My name is Jamie Littler. I am an author illustrator and I play Age of Sigma. Uh, I started playing Warhammer, I think like a lot of people um, when I was a, a kid, like I, I discovered, um, uh, I saw people playing with Space Marines and things back at school uh, and it was like, what the hell's this? You know, like uh, I'd never seen anything like it before. And uh, I work predominantly in children's books, which I love, like I've, I've always loved um, Disney, Pixar, Miyazaki and Studio uh, Ghibli and stuff like that but, but you know lesser known things as well like I just I love anything that's full of action and movement and stuff and that's what I try and put into my art. I guess I'd call it quite cartoony I suppose but it's for me it's all about the the, the action and the the sense of movement and life. I've, I've just written my own book, um, book series. I knew I wanted to do a fantasy but I knew I didn't want to do knights and wizards and dragons. I, I, I think Skaven particularly they, they felt like that to me. They felt like quite a unique, strange um, faction in the game. I used to love uh, a, a film called The Secret of Nim. Uh, it's a Don Bluth film, and it's, it's like these intelligent rats that have been created through like a medical testing and stuff like that. And it, it kind of reminded me of that. And I always loved the Red Wall books and things. So the idea of these, these, these uh, rodents with swords and weapons and things, you know, it just, it really appealed to that, that kid in me. And, uh, I knew I didn't want just a sea of brown, um, as cool as that could be. Um, and I do tend to like quite earthy fantasy, so I do love the likes of Guillermo del Toro. I wanted them to look like they came from underground, so I wanted them to seem quite um, pale and pallid. Um, I guess like purplish, pinkish grey for the skin colour, which I thought looked quite unusual. It felt like they were these like mutated, warped rat people. Um, and I knew I was going to be having a lot of green. Like I, I loved, I love Scryer. I love warp technology and the the mad science that comes with Skaven. I think that's the that's the thing I'm that really intrigues me about them. So I knew I was going to have a lot of warp stone, a lot of warp flame, uh, neutral colours like like off browns and blacks, and so that hopefully the, the the greens would really pop. Whilst a lot of the miniatures are out of the box. Um, there's definitely a few where I try and try and change them up a little, and, and uh, yeah, I think that uh, I think you can see that in in um, my arch warlock. You know, this I imagine it's this rat sitting on a little platform with these mechanical legs or something to make him look bigger. Um, and it even had like a tube bit at the back, which was perfect for the tail to fit through. Like it was like it was made for that model, I think. The storm fiends tend to be quite monopose, except for the the, the weapon changes, and I knew I didn't want that, so I had to like changed the shape a bit of the the storm fiends and that required a bit of green stuffing had to get wire for the for the for the cabling at the back and the same goes for the acolytes which which have um when i saw the the scaven blood bowl team i thought oh yeah it's perfect they, they, they they've got these these big pads and they look a bit scryery you know like they look a bit a bit different to the normal clan rats and things so i i took them and i i i had to sculpt all their masks so I just, yeah, started trying to sculpt that and things. And, and luckily, I, I think it works. I hope it works, you know, and, and hopefully it looks quite unique to, to my army and stuff. But I think that's really fun. I think that's the beautiful thing about the hobby is that you, you have this world to play in. You have, you have these factions outlined for you, but then you can really delve into that and start, um, start thinking, well, what, what would my guys be? You know, like in my head, I've got, I've got an idea for my arch warlock and what he's up to. And, and I, I, you know, like, um, even though it may not come to the table that often when I'm, when I'm seeing at home painting for ages, I, I think it's that storyteller in me that I like, I like thinking what these guys have done, where they're coming from, and hopefully put some of those touches uh, on the miniatures themselves.